how to become a professionally qualified civil engineer. The best way to show how much you know and can do in your civil engineering role is to become a professionally qualified engineer. The Institution of Civil Engineers or ICE qualifications are recognized internationally, so you could potentially work anywhere in the world. More importantly, investing the time and effort needed really pays off. Getting letters after your name is a great feeling. When you qualify as a professional engineer, you are telling employers that you are highly capable and committed. This puts you in a stronger position when it comes to promotion or salary. Hello, my name is Jay Skatek and you're watching JK Civil Engineering YouTube channel. So let's dive in. There are mainly three grades of professional qualification with the Institution of Civil Engineers. And they are Technician Engineer or EngTech, Incorporated Engineer or iEng, or Chartered Engineer or CEng. There's a fourth one, Fellowship Grade, the highest grade with the ICE, which is not covered in this video. The ICE professional qualifications can be achieved primarily in three stages. And this includes your academic qualification, your work experience, and passing your professional review. Let's discuss each stage in more details. Academic qualification. To become a technician, engineer, or EngTech, you will need an approved level three diploma or a foundation degree. Achieving an EngTech qualification shows your competence as a technician engineer and your commitment to professional standards. To become an incorporated engineer, you will need an accredited bachelor degree. If you do not have a bachelor degree, but you have foundation degree, you can work towards becoming an incorporated engineer by further learning to bring your qualification up to the level of education required for ING. The ING title is protected by law and becoming ING qualified shows your employer, clients and peer that you are a competent engineer. To become a Chartered Engineer or CEng, you will need an accredited 4-year integrated MEng degree or a bachelor degree plus an accredited master's degree. The title CEng is protected by law and is one of the most recognizable international engineering qualifications. Experience in the ICE terminology, the experience is termed as Initial Professional Development or IPD, where you develop your skills, knowledge and experience that help you to become a professionally qualified. There are three key ways to complete your IPD. ICE Training Scheme. This is a structured training program run by the employers. You will receive support and guidance throughout your training from a supervising civil engineer who your employer assigns to you. This is a highly recommended method to complete your IPD. Mentor Supported Training. This is similar to the ICE training scheme, but is not run by your employer. You're responsible for managing your own training with the support of a mentor who will need to be approved by the ICE. Career Appraisal. If you have enough experience to show achievement of the required professional attributes, Career Appraisal is the way forward to complete your IPD. Professional Review. A professional review is the final stage in becoming professionally qualified. This is where you prove that you have developed all the required skills to become professionally qualified. The professional review itself is made up of three steps. Initial application. This gives the information to arrange your professional review. Experience report and CPD submission. You will need to produce and submit a report up to 5,000 words showing how you meet all the requirements of a professional engineer along with your CPD records. Professional Review You will be interviewed by experienced civil engineering professionals. Be prepared to discuss your report and show off your knowledge. You will also have to complete a written exercise which is an assessment of your written skills. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.